Hello everyone, welcome back to Down Periscope, Up Periscope. I'm Tim, your host, and today we are in Blueback's ward room, and we're going to talk about communication a bit. Now, you see, I'm a millennial kid, and back in my day, we didn't have these fancy smartphones and texting, you know? So they invented this thing called a telephone when we wanted to talk to each other without well, occupying different parts of the earth. So we had to use our words and complete sentences and, you know, we didn't have texting and all that stuff. So that's how we did it, you know. Thank you, Alexander Graham Bell. So, yes. Anyway, we're going to talk about sound-powered telephones. Yeah. So, back in the day, this is sort of what a telephone handset used to look like. Okay, they kind of had this funny shape to it, right? But this is what it is. So, anyway. You'll see sound-powered telephones even today on naval vessels and, of course, submarines. And this is essentially what it is. For anyone who has ever done the old game of, you know, taking two tin cans, putting a string or a wire between them, keeping them taut, and then talking into them and listening, this is essentially a more high-tech principle of that same thing. So, the problem with phones is that most of them, even your smartphone, requires some kind of power source to use. This, however, does not. So first of all, I'm going to describe a little bit about how they operate. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, science behind it. Now, I'm not an engineer. I'm not an electrician. So I'm just going to talk about the very basics of it. But anyway, first of all, you remove your hand, the handset from its uh, bracket. Okay. And then on each of these, there is a list of stations that you can select for which you want to call. So let's say I want to call the, um, the cruise mess. So I'm going to select station 12 on the black dial. Then right here is a crank. This is not a field telephone like, you know, in the army or something. So you don't have to continuously crank that to generate power. All this does is when you crank it, it operates the call buzzer on the other end of the line of whatever station you have selected. And it sounds a little something like this. So that's what happens when you crank that hand crank. It calls. Put the handset up to your face. And on the handset is a little silver button. Okay. On these kinds, you press and hold to talk. Then you let go when you're done talking and you're listening. I think on some models of phones, um, of sound-powered phones, you have to press and continuously press and hold it down when you're talking and listening. But I think on these models, you just, like a radio, you press and hold to talk, and then release when you're done and you're ready to listen. So that's basically how it works. Now, there are various sound-powered phone circuits throughout the submarine and on naval ships. It varies depending on the vessel and what kind of systems, uh, everything from weapon systems to, like, sonar and so on. It, it varies depending on the vessel. So... Let me describe a little bit about basically how a sound-powered telephone works. And so it happens to have, we have a cutaway right here of one of the handsets. Okay. So inside this handset is essentially a metal diaphragm. And there's the mouthpiece. And when you speak into the mouthpiece, the metal diaphragm vibrates. And it's going to impinge on a little rod, which is connected to a metal needle which is inside a coil of wire suspended between two magnets in here. Essentially, it's working similar to like a dynamic microphone. So when that needle will vibrate, it's known as a balanced armature. But when it vibrates inside that wire coil and between those magnets, it generates electricity and allows you to power the phone and transmit. That's essentially how it works. The, um, the earpiece works on the similar principle as well. So that's essentially how a sound-powered phone operates. Very simple. A diaphragm, a needle, a coil of wire, and some magnets. That's how it generates power to trans transmit. Yep, pretty ingenious, huh? So that's how a sound-powered telephone essentially works. Now, Blueback has these sound-powered telephones all over the place. There are 15 different stations, all the way from, you know, forward in the torpedo room to back in the engine room. Okay, but 
as you can see, there are these other things here. These are uh, jacks for jacking into um, various circuits, sound-powered phone circuits on the submarine. And, well, that's kind of interesting. So, I mean, I guess you can use a handset, but there may be other reasons to use another kind of sound-powered telephone. This is the handset type. And right here, we have what's called a can or a headset type phone or a battle talker phone. So I'm not going to uncoil this wire, but right. So right on the other side of this plate is a junction box, which connects the headset. Okay. Like earphones. Okay. And the mouthpiece. Okay. This is the same essential thing as the handset, except it's just, you wear this one. So when you, this is on your chest. You're going to be looking, uh, kind of looking down at this mouthpiece. And again, much like the other one, press and hold the button to talk. Release when you are done. Okay. The benefit of the can phones or the battle talker phones is that you can um, take this, this plug, this jack, and let's say jack it into one of these uh, plugs here and connect to this circuit. And this cord is fairly long. so. You can put these throughout the submarine, okay, maybe you're up on deck or up on the bridge or at some other part where there's not one of these available, these stations available, but there is a jack available. So use these, plug them in, same thing, and you talk. It's another version of a sound-powered phone. So that's how communication is done. The benefit of these is that they can be used by watchstanders and they're just temporary. So if you need someone somewhere, but they don't need to be right next to one of these because they don't need to call a specific uh, station, then you just have these because they're connected to a certain circuit. So, and they're just talking on that circuit for whatever reason. So that's another type of sound powered phone that is commonly available aboard warships. So, yep, a can phone or sometimes a headset type or a battle talker phone. So again, same technology, just in a different form. So that's a little bit about sound powered telephones or growlers as they're commonly called. Now, the big question is somewhere on this submarine is a box of sound powered phone batteries. I've been looking all over for it. I can't seem to find it, but I've been told it's somewhere on the submarine, but one of these days I'm going to find that box of sound powered phone batteries and uh, yep, we'll be able to actually use these things again. So anyway, that's a little bit about growlers, so thank you.